Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. Today I have another video about less waste and sustainability for you as this is such an important topic and I'm transition transitioning to an even more sustainable lifestyle. And stay tuned for more videos about this topic like for example sustainable, eco-friendly and thoughtful gift ideas. So like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell down below so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. And before I share the products I don't buy anymore and what I use instead, I want to say I'm sorry that I didn't do my hair and everything. I was too lazy and also I thought like this is about less waste and sustainability and if I would do my hair it would cost electricity and this is energy and this isn't sustainable so you know I didn't do my hair because it's not sustainable <laughs> well okay so let's start with the things with the products I don't buy anymore about three and a half to four years ago it was the last time I bought toothpaste so from that time on I only used water most of the time I only use water um, then I also like to use activated charcoal every now and then or cinnamon is like amazing because it's antibacterial and it really cleans your teeth and it's not harsh or anything like that and also I love the taste of cinnamon so it's amazing to go to bed and to have clean teeth and still the um, smell and taste of cinnamon sometimes I use coconut oil sometimes I like to use tremella mushroom powder or I do mix the things a little bit together but in general I only use one thing and most of the time only water about once or twice a month I use baking soda you should be careful with baking soda because it's harsher on your teeth but it really cleans everything and I love to use baking soda with a little bit of activated charcoal this way it really cleans your teeth and it makes them nice and bright and white this is like a secret to white teeth without bleaching so a natural amazing alternative to bleach your teeth and another thing to oral hygiene to mouth hygiene is cloves they're not only antibacterial but they're a little painkillers so if you have an infection in your mouth you will not only clean it by killing the bacterial but you can also but you can also diminish the pain so best for this is use a clove rinse just cook cloves in water and then rinse your mouth with it you can keep this in the fridge for a few days and i personally never had problem with my teeth so that's great but i just can recommend you to try this and to clean your mouth with a club rinse when you have an infection or teeth pain another body product i don't buy anymore is a shampoo and these general body wash i haven't used those things in two to three years i think i always used very natural things or um not always but as my mother was in kind of a i don't know if this if you can call this a club she had a subscription to a natural company and i grew up with it so i used it myself and i loved it until i wanted something even more natural because they're still not super natural and about two to three years ago i started to do only water with my hair so no shampoo um, that wasn't working out for me so much probably because i do have um i do bleach my hair i will link two videos down below about how i care for my bleached hair and how i do bleach my hair so how to keep it healthy and how i bleach it in the first place i will leave the links down below and then i came across a brand called mana and i absolutely love that brand 
By the way, I forgot to tell you that this video is not sponsored by anything. This is all, all just what I like, so not sponsored, sadly. And I do have um, videos about Mana too. I will link them down below too, so you can check all of the videos I mentioned in this video. You can check them all out, you know, <laughs> and. Yeah, I love this brand and they have a very natural shampoo. I think there's only six or seven ingredients inside. I do not only use their shampoo, but I also use their soaps. So I do use natural body wash, aka soaps, instead of the body wash you can buy in stores. And now to my face care, I also do not buy facial cleansing products for a very long time. I used natural toner and a natural milk, a cleansing milk, but it kind of dried my skin out and I have very dry skin and I started to use no facial cleansing products at all and only washed my wa uh, my face with a little bit of water and used a little bit of coconut oil and it turned out that my my body loved this and since then i only use a little bit of water i use coconut oil i use argan oil sometimes i use yojoba oil or cast castor oil which is an amazing oil um, I do make my own peelings and I do peel my skin pretty often but I noticed that the way I I mix the ingredients together which is mostly cinnamon again so praise cinnamon uh, I will do a separate video about my face care because I in general I do have very nice skin in general and they're not only better for your skin, but they're also um, much more sustainable, of course. I mean, you have oil and then you can put inside, for example, cinnamon or mushroom powders, cocoa powder, coffee and whatever matcha you can put in, whatever suits your skin. And since I started this, it's like my skin cleared up so much. And I just can recommend you to swap your facial cleansing products to very natural ones. Also, I will stop buying these cotton pads, which you can only use one time and then you throw it away. I mean, they're kind of okay because they're cotton and it grows, but still it's not sustainable because you use it one time and then you throw it away and yeah, it's... I do use small towels for my face, but when I do remove my makeup, it's nicer to have something smaller and softer um, to clean the eyes and everything. And I will switch to cotton pads, which you can use multiple times. So I ask my mother if she would be so kind to knit me little cotton pads and I will include that in my facial video which will someday coming up too um and i will let you know what i think about these reusable cotton pads so this is another thing i will stop buying over the next few days an extra thumb up for this and now to the washer and the laundry i don't buy these washing machine powders I do use soap nuts. Soap nuts are a natural product, so it's a real thing. It's nothing chemical. You can use it multiple times. You just throw it. You have a little bag. You put your soap nuts inside and you throw it with your laundry in the washer and you wash your clothes. And instead of any chemical products to clean your washing machine, washer, whatever you prefer to say, I use instead baking soda and citric acid. It's a great thing to remove all the lime that just stuck in there from all the washing you did. 
I also don't buy any pre-packed teas anymore so in these little tea bags I don't buy them anymore I personally prefer clean easy simple teas a few years ago I loved it all of these flavor creations like cocoa and black tea and green tea and almonds and ginger and everything in the tea bag and now I prefer green tea, white tea, blossoms. So I don't buy pre-packed tea bags but I use a stainer instead. So a, a strainer. I have a little strainer I can put my teas inside and you don't have any extra waste. There are tea bags and also packages you can completely compost and it's amazing but I still don't like the taste anymore, the flavors. My nose is running. What I don't like about strainers is that you in general can only put larger leaves inside. But they are washable tea bags which are I think cotton you can which are great for smaller tea leaves so there is no reason to actually buy, uh, no reason for me personally to buy pre-packed teas anymore. Another food I don't buy anymore are plant drinks. I don't know why but I just don't like them anymore and it's, it's a lot of waste you have when you buy plant drinks in these tetra packs. Sometimes I make them myself but in general I don't use them overall anymore. And the last thing I don't buy anymore which is very much very important to me is cat food. I do not buy canned cat food for so long now and it's so important to me to make a video about what I do feed my cats because I don't feed my cats vegan. Um, I will go into this when I will do the video about the cat food but I do feed my cats um, barfin I don't know if you say this in English too, but it's the natural way cats would eat outside in general. So you have fresh meat and also the meat that the cats would actually eat outside because they don't go outside and kill a cow. So they don't have beef. They would kill a bird. So they get poultry and all that stuff with vegetables and in general it's raw. Raw meat because they don't sit at the fireplace and do cook their meat outside. At least I never saw a cat do that. So if you saw a cat doing that without help, let me know. I would love to see that. Yeah, I will cover the topic about cat food in another video. And I will cover other of these topics I talked about in this video in other videos. And again, all of the videos I mentioned are lift listed down below, so you can check them out. And yeah, I think the cat food and the animal food in general is very important because many people think that you should also feed your animals, your pets, vegan even though they're not vegans, they're carnivores and I don't know if it's like actually cruelty free when you would um, feed your animals something they can't digest very well and their bodies are not designed for before I start talking about a totally different topic about something totally different that this video is not about I will stop this video and I hope I could give you some insights of what of my life and maybe inspire you inspired you to also make changes in your life that are very simple without effort you can change some of the things and they're even better for yourself for the environment you feel better probably they're better for your for your um, little money back too. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we will see you next weekend and have a great time. Goodbye.